don't you hate it when you take a wrong turn? Took a wrong turn to get here today, but I persisted. And because of that, I can tell you guys what's going on. My name is Skiz, and I can welcome you back to another episode of our graffiti freight train watching series that we do here on the channel. So if you're not getting a bit of an idea already about what this series is like, it's basically us taking a look at some of these freights, some of the pieces on them and all that, just like we've started off doing as best we can when they're mostly blank because these freights are old. I'm gonna be walking a little bit. So in an hour when I'm done walking and I found you guys some freights, I'll be back. One hour later. All right, we're back. Let's look at some stuff here, get in, get out, because this is not one of the yards that I'm entirely familiar with and to the point where I know I can just come and do this. I'm not sure how many of these tankers we're gonna look at. There is some freights as well. It's always great to take a look at the tags and the furs when you get a line of tankers and these beautiful little monikers as well. Shagsy. Gorgeous tag right there. Very consistent with the styling throughout. That's really what makes a good tag, right? Just consistency. It's, it's quite simple conceptually how to make a good tag, but it's funny how things can be so conceptually simple and take so long to get a good hang of sometimes. Shotsky. Beautiful, simple style there. So cool as well, loving that throw up. Yeah, with that shot ski piece. I should talk a bit more about it because it's the same sort of thing with things like that. Uh, very simple and consistent. That's how you make those straight letter type things look really good, of course. Beautiful combat tag. Got some black on black tags there, that's nice. Very underrated, you know, the black on black. Of course, myself, I offer this kind of black on black shirt as one of the many color schemes if you want to pick one of these shirts up for yourself. We got a noose. Shoulder. Gorgeous tag there, of course. Some subtleties in this one that I just want to point out is you do have like a, a hard point over here, whereas you also have a hard point up here. That is the type of thing that you need to balance out. Like that is a, a balancing thing, those two points on opposite ends of the tag. The O and the E also both very round, both very in the middle, and of course the T is, is right in the middle. So of course that's all very nice and symmetrical. That's part of achieving good balance. Just making like the O and E back there similar size. The T can be way bigger like it is because it's in the middle basically. And it, that's just all very well done. Loving that little character. We got orcas. Insta fame. Yeah, everything's about that insta fame now, isn't it? We got Mountain Man here. It literally is a mountain that is also a man. With an incredible mustache, I'm glad as well. <laughs> One of the reasons for the formatting differences here is just because it's obviously a bit louder where I am. So you might not be able to hear me, hence 
some of the formatting differences. We got most. Most 50. Love that. It's very nice to achieve the sort of nice, like, wispy type that that tag is with uh, solid sticks. So, we got relax. A lot of ver verticality on that side. Ooh, very, very beautiful serif font here with the, the BZ. That's awesome. We got Jock. Got another beer can, Benny. We've seen that before. Leech. Another beer can bin. So yeah, we had a ton of tags and throws. As I was mentioning, the sort of format that this has been in is partially because I'm trying to try some new formats out. Tell me what you think of the more like almost montagey stuff. That's uh, I think what we're going for a little bit just to test it out. Obviously, I like adding some discussion points about artistic concepts within tags and throws and stuff like that because I think that's very important. Like I think a lot of times it's very overlooked when when. Uh, newer writers are being taught tags and throws because the, the artistic elements of those are just as important as they are in pieces. So I, I do try and take a, a bit a bit of time in each of these episodes to point those out. So I hope that's helpful to some of the newer writers and it's always good to revisit those concepts no matter how much of a king you think you are, right? But tune in next episode because we're going this way. We're going right down here. As I mentioned before, get your very own tags, throw some pieces shirt. First link in the description to that, as well as my hookup I have to some some of the cheapest Markles, or the, the cheapest place you can find, like a value pack of Markles. I try and have that in there for you as well. Check out some of the rest of the channel if you would. Until next time, peace.